Hi everyone, I'm Melanie Eke, and today we are in Oakland, California for the Black College Expo, and the students behind me are ready. They're ready to get admissions, they are ready to get scholarships, they're ready to have some fun, and they're gonna learn everything there is to know about college and college life. I'm here with Philip and Caleb, and Philip is here in a role model capacity. You said Caleb needs to be here, why? Uh, I invited Caleb to come because he's a good student, and um, my son came here four years ago, and my son actually got a scholarship on the spot. Wow. Yeah, believe it or not. Um, and he went to Jackson State, and he had an incredible experience at Jackson State University. Is there anything you're looking forward to today? I just want to find the right fit, and I'm just really excited to be here. We're excited to have you. I'm sure you will. There's a lot of schools out there. Have you thought about some options? Uh, not yet. I'm kind of waiting to get inside there. What grade are you in? I'm 12. Good morning. So we have uh, Delta Gems from the Berkeley Bay Area Alumni Chapter of Delta Sigma Theta. And our program serves as an enrichment and empowerment program for young women. And today we are bringing our gems, our jewels of the community, to learn more about historically black colleges and opportunities to fund their way to college. So we made it to the floor of the 2023 Oakland Black College Expo, and I am so excited to walk around and talk to some of these booths. So, so I'm actually the chair of the scholarship committee. Um, we're here today representing not only the scholarship committee and, and giving, giving money to these uh, graduating seniors, but also the, our Omega Gents program. And now that you guys have been looking around, has anybody found anything that they didn't know about today or learned about any schools they may be interested in? Merced's engineering program is actually really good. I talked to a student earlier who said that she was interested in either the Army or Navy. I have some Navy men here. I want to tell you, I want you to tell me why the students should choose the Navy. Uh, <laughs> Navy's the best in the world. Like, why wouldn't you choose the Navy? You know what I'm saying? Uh, we have a lot of scholarships to offer, just like any particular colleges and stuff like that. But the biggest benefit is that not only the free tuition, but the free job guarantee. Well, the cadet program is generally for college students. Um, you have to be 17 and a half to join, of course. Um, you get paid. Um, you get paid? Of course. Okay. Of course you're paying. Um, it just offers, offers an opportunity to get what it is like to be an officer or potentially other positions in the field of uh, law enforcement and whatnot. It opens doors. I'm feeling great. I just got a uh, certificate to Jackson State. You want to show us, show us your certificate? Hey now, congratulations. So I caught up with Nathaniel Kim. He is out here representing Voorhees University and you gave me a very interesting stat or a fact. Yeah, so Voorhees University is the first HBCU founded by African American woman. Miss Elizabeth Evelyn Wright. She found the school when she was 23. The school got burnt down three times. She tried to establish it 10 times. And on top of that, she walked from Alabama to South Carolina on 10 different separate occasions. So it just goes to show you her resiliency, her determination, and her fortitude to make that visit come true. It costs $19,976 to attend Voorhees. That's in-state and out-of-state tuition as well. We're the second ranked HBCU in the state of South Carolina, and my favorite stat is we are third in the nation in social mobility. We have generations now attending the Black College Expo. I'm here with... Anthony Patrick. Okay, and... Ayan. Ayan. Green. And what's your name? <laughs> we got baby Isaac. And baby Isaac. You brought your entire family out to this event. Why did you feel like it was important to do so? I feel it's important because uh, they need to see the options, the other options that they can have in life. Um, I graduated from an HBCU, Shaw University, and I, I really want them to see um, the options that they can have in life if they, if they choose to take it. Okay, so we have some Oakland natives here, and you brought some students out. Introduce yourself and tell us what you're doing. Hi, I'm Wainisha. I'm an achievement coordinator for Oakland Natives Gives Back, and these are amazing students. Hi. Well, welcome everybody to the expo. Who has found anything that really stuck out to them so far? You want to talk about it? I've been able to see a lot of new colleges that I wouldn't have thought I would want to apply to or at least get the chance to. Anybody else? I really like the positive environment, like how everybody interacts with each other. Nice, nice. And what? what? Everybody coming together and just this is like a great opportunity for people. Did you, did you just get accepted? I did, yes. On the spot? Yes. How does it feel? It feels great. I love it. Do you, what grade are you in? I'm a senior. You're a senior, and do you know what you want to study? Uh, biomedical innovation. We had so much fun at the Oakland Black College Expo. Oakland, you showed up and you showed out. 
as usual, we gave out scholarships, we did acceptances on the spot, but most importantly, we impacted lives, which is what it's all about. Thanks so much for joining us. Until next time, I'm Melanie Eke, and you're watching NCRF TV.